Dale Creasy, left side to Tech Pack. Goodson, tool and equipment, Summit Racing Dodge. And Ron Caps for Napa Auto Care. Changing it up this week. The ASA certified logos on the back. This for Ron Caps is a new body from last night, or a different body anyway. But it is the same car. If you were with us last night, Ron Caps had a pretty nice run going in that Gazoo Racing Toyota down there. And it darted over towards the wall just before the finish line. And that, you know, the classic tongue in cheek, for those of you that follow more sports than just NHRA, Slugger Labby, who is the director of engineering for NASCAR, oversees both the NHRA program and the NASCAR program, put something out on Twitter last night about Ron Caps getting his first Darlington Stripe, since that's where the Cup Boys are this weekend. Ron Caps has had so many highlights over the past couple of years. Of course, he is last year's U.S. Nationals runner-up, and now he is a team owner. He's a world champion. So much to say about it, but uh, he was very disappointed last night that he got into the wall. You could hear he was down and just stayed with it a little bit too long. Well, Tommy is a driver. Ron's now the team owner as well, but as a driver, you know, everybody just works so hard, and you just feel like you're the one that costs them more work. Yeah, and that Friday night run is so important to qualifying. You, you know that's your best shot at uh, making your best run of the weekend. You try to stay with it as long as you can, and it's just sometimes a little too long. Peanut left, champion right. That's going to be better. 395 for Ron Caps, 324 miles an hour. And Guido and John and the rest of them are like, okay, now we know where we need to be. That's going to put him in the number 10 spot, a 417 at 240 miles an hour for Dale Creasy, and that is an improvement for that team as well. Jason. And I'm down here with Dean Antonelli and Guido after having to thrash on the thing a little bit last night. Makes a good, solid run. Yeah, we had to be very careful, make sure we get in the threes, so there's more out there. We'll press next round. You want to call a shot this round? Uh, I think somebody around 90 flat. Yeah, what do you know? You thought they'd run 86 last night, and all they could muster was an 87-0. Yeah, so wrong. 